Um, another example I have here from uh, Biart, you know, gaming's uh, going mobile m more and more, and so per, uh, power and battery life is becoming Absolutely. increasingly something that developers have to think about. So uh, the company uh, Biart has their uh, game uh, Deep Black. You know, it's running great on this uh, Ultrabook right here. Yep. Uh, also with integrated graphics, and I have ITPA. You see, it's running 60 frames a second, it's so incredibly fast. Um, and then I have uh, the system analyzer running on, on this system over here. And what that allows you to do is actually track uh, many, many different metrics, as well as control things that's happening on, on the system here. And I could be doing this on laptops, ultrabooks, tablets, a number of different devices to actually optimize for power. So what I have on the system analyzer right now uh, is I actually have the uh, frames per second of what's mm -hmm. going on over here at right. the top, and I can do many different metrics here. And some new ones that you actually can track power, and uh, I actually have the GPU power yep. down there at the bottom. And um, so I can actually set up experiments, or what they call state overrides, and uh, one of them that I'm gonna show you right here is a technique that they use for, um, uh, for optimizing for power is to limit the number of frames. It's something that's reasonable, um, and usually around 30 frames a second is, right. a, is a good experience. So I'm actually going to do a FPS limit. And you can see that on mm. the game, it actually lowered it uh, to 30 frames a second. Um, the power dropped from something like eight, eight watts down to you know, 1.7, wow. two watts. So that was right. a pretty successful experiment. And you can see it's running 30 frames a second. The experience is so still, still pretty fine. good. Okay. So uh, Biart thought that was a, a good experiment. So they actually... Um, took that code and put it in, in their game. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and pull the, pull the power and you can see what happens. So I go ahead and So pull they, that. they took this capability, they tied it to the, to the sensor of the power plug? And exactly. So, okay, so when the power plug's pulled out, they want the experience to last longer, so they reduce the frames per second and so, reduce the battery consumption. And, and you can see on the system analyzer, the frame rate uh, yeah. dropped, as well as the power. So, and, uh, and I noticed the battery uh, up here in the corner. Can you talk about that? So, so, so they took some code from the toolkit and actually implemented a, a, a battery meter as well. So you know the gamers know how they're doing on, on the battery wonderful. supplies. So you've taken this tool. It not only optimizes for our platform or CPU, but our graphic integrated graphics. It takes full advantage of it to give you the best performance but also the experience of when you want to take this mobile, no power plug, still get to participate, but you reduce the consumption given a longer time to participate with the game. And I love this battery in the corner because you don't have to look, search for how much power you have. It just shows it there. That's great. Anything else? No, that's just a few examples of what developers can do with uh, Intel software tools. Excellent. Thank you, Art.